In this Easy Ed video lecture, we are going to study about what transistors are, types of transistors, NPN and PNP structure of bipolar junction transistors, construction and working of BJT, configurations of BJT, input-output characteristics of BJT and BJT as an amplifier. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Transistor is a very important component that is used as a switch or as an amplifier in almost all electronic gadgets. The amplification is achieved by passing the signal from the region of low resistance to the region of high resistance. Hence, we call it a transistor as a transfer of resistor. These transistors are of two types such as bipolar junction transistor and field effect transistor. For the time being, we will only focus on bipolar junction transistor. The bipolar junction transistor was invented in 1947 by John Bardeen and Walter Bratton. In 1951, William Shockley made the modern version of a transistor. This invention completely revolutionized the electronics industry and the transistor found much widespread applications in computer chips communication satellites, calculators, etc. A BJT is a silicon or germanium crystal containing three separate regions emitter, base and collector. Thus we obtain the three terminal devices as shown. The current conduction in BJT is due to two types of charge carriers, that is holes and electrons. Hence it is called as the bipolar junction transistor. BJTs are again classified into two types as NPN transistor and PNP transistor. Let's see the construction of the BJT. When we sandwich a P-type semiconductor between two N-type semiconductors, we get a NPN structure. Out of the three regions, emitter is heavily doped with N-type impurities. Base is very lightly doped with P-type and doping concentration of N-type impurities in the collector lies in between base and emitter. Hence the emitter and the collector contain free electrons whereas the base region contains free holes as majority charge carriers. These three regions are not of equal area. The emitter acts as a source whereas the collector acts as a destination of charge carriers. Thus the collector occupies the highest area to collect the maximum electrons then the emitter and lastly base which is smallest among the three. When we sandwich a n-type semiconductor between the two p-type semiconductors, we get PNP transistor. The doping concentration in PNP also remains the same with the emitter being heavily doped. The collector moderately doped and the base very lightly doped and the areas of the three regions are kept unequal again. In PNP, the emitter and the collector contain free holes, whereas the base contains free electrons as the majority charge carriers. As we get the two PN junctions in BJT, base to emitter junction and collector to base junction, we consider the two diode analogy for transistors. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. So let's understand the working of the NPN transistor. We connect the two DC sources such that the base to emitter junction will be forward biased and the collector to base junction will be reverse biased. The source connected to the base to emitter junction is called as VEE and the one connected to the collector to base junction is called as VCC. When we apply negative terminal of the DC source to the emitter, electrons from the emitter move towards the base. Being a PN junction, it forms the junction potential of 0.6 to 0.7 volts. So electrons reach the repletion region but can't cross it. As we increase the voltage VEE above the junction potential value, the electrons successfully cross the depletion region and enter into the base. Now the base is very lightly doped with P-type impurities, so it contains very few holes as majority carriers. 
out of all the electrons that cross over the junction, only 5% electrons recombine with the holes in the base and constitute the base current, which is very small in nanoampere range. But the remaining 95% electrons continue their motion towards the collector terminal as it is more positively charged than the base. These electrons along with the electrons from the collector region travel towards the positive terminal of the battery constituting the flow of the collector current from the collector to the emitter. Thus expression for the emitter current becomes IE is equal to IB plus IC. In NPN transistor the flow of the current into the emitter terminal is depicted by showing the arrow heading towards the emitter in the symbol of the NPN transistor as shown. The working of the PNP transistor is similar to the working of the NPN. Let's assume there are three friends E, B and C. They always stay together forming pairs as E, B, B, C or E, C. Let's take two pairs at a time. One friend will always be common. Similarly assume the three friends as three terminals of the BJT from applying the input to getting the output. One of the three terminals of the BJT acts as a common terminal. Based on this concept, there are three basic configurations of BJT as a common base, common emitter and common collector. In the common base configuration, we apply the input between the emitter and the base and we measure the output between the collector and the base. Thus the base acts as a common terminal between the input and the output. The biasing is carried out as shown when we apply the common base configuration with NPN or PNP transistor. In the CE configuration, the input is applied at the base to emitter junction and the output is obtained at the collector to emitter junction. That is the emitter acts as a common terminal between the input and the output. Transistor is normally used as an amplifier in the CE configuration. In the common collector configuration, input is applied at the base to collector junction and output is obtained at the emitter to collector junction, making the collector a common terminal. Let's study the characteristics of the NPN transistor in common emitter configuration. The experimental setup is as shown. We measure the voltages VBE and VCE by using the voltmeters and currents IB and IC by using the ammeter. In BJT, small change in the base current causes a very large change in the collector current. This defines the amplification factor. Beta given by the ratio of change in the collector current to the change in the base current. This beta varies from device to device. Thus BJT is called as the current controlled current source. Now these characteristics are different for input and output. Let's first study the input characteristics. These characteristics are plotted as IB versus VBE, keeping the VCE voltage constant. The output remains zero till the input reaches to 0 0.7 volts. After that, we get the increase in the base current as shown. When we take the ratio of change in the voltage VBE to change in the current IB, we get the input resistance of the BJT. This input resistance is measured in ohms. Now let's move on to output characteristics. It is a curve between the output current IC and the output voltage VCE by keeping the base current IB constant. Current IC varies linearly with VCE for VCE between 0 volts to 1 volt. After this voltage, IC almost remains constant and becomes independent of VCE. This value of VCE up to which current varies linearly and then becomes constant is called as knee voltage. Practically a small increase in IC is observed even after the knee voltage and the IC almost becomes equal to beta into IB. From the graph we define the three main regions in which the BJT is operated. These are active region, cutoff region and saturation region. So let's start with the cutoff region. 
In this region, we connect the base to emitter and collector to base both the junctions in reverse bias. Thus, the base current is equal to zero and collector current is equal to reverse leakage current. This region being inactive, the transistor acts as an open switch. The second region is the active region. During this region, the base to emitter region is forward biased and collector to base is reverse biased. Thus, the transistor remains active for the entire region of operation and acts as an amplifier. The last and the third region is the saturation region, in which the base to emitter and the collector to base both the regions are kept in forward bias mode. The collector current increases rapidly with the increase in VCE as shown. In this region, transistor acts as a closed switch. Let's study the operation of a BJT as an amplifier. When connected in the common emitter configuration, here we apply an AC signal at the input of the BJT. Thus during the positive half of the AC signal, base to emitter junction becomes forward biased, whereas collector to base remains in reverse bias. BJT conducts the current and base current IB increases. As BJT is a current control device, increased input current causes the output current to increase by the factor beta into IB. This increases IC generates more output voltage as V out is equal to IC into RC. Thus the voltage gets amplified for the positive half. During the negative half, the magnitude of the base current decreases due to reverse bias condition of the base to emitter junction. Consequently, IC also reduces thus reducing the output voltage. Thus we obtain the amplified output for both the halves of the input signal. Let's have a quick review of what we've learned in this lecture. Transistors are mainly of two types, bipolar junction transistor and field effect transistor. The device is called as a transistor because the signal is transferred from the region of low resistance to the region of high resistance. It was invented by three scientists, John Bardeen, Walter Bratain and William Shockley and is widely used in calculators, computer chips, etc. Bipolar junction transistor is a device having three terminals, emitter, base and collector. It has two types as NPN transistor and PNP transistor. In NPN transistor, the emitter and collector contain electrons and the base contains holes as the majority charge carriers, all three having different areas and doping concentrations as well. In PNP, the emitter and the collector have holes, whereas the base has electrons as majority charge carriers. The doping concentration and the areas of three terminals remain the same as NPN. In NPN, with base to emitter forward biased and collector to base reverse biased, when the VBE or VEE voltage crosses 0.7 volts value, Electrons from the emitter flow towards the collector through the base, constituting a small base current and a large collector current. Thus IE equals IB plus IC. The working of PNP is similar to NPN transistor. The symbols of NPN and PNP transistors are as shown. BJT has three different configurations such as the common base, common emitter and common collector configuration. The input and output characteristics of a BJT are as shown. The BJT is mainly operated as a switch and an amplifier. It acts as an open switch in the cutoff region, closed switch in saturation and as an amplifier in the active region. In active region, the transistor amplifies the input signal with the amplification factor beta giving output IC equal to beta into IB.